<coughs> Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, this is Sabira. Currently, I am working as a content strategist at UIDEPS. I'm from Bangladesh. Uh, so today I am here to discuss on how neuroscience can make you a better writer. So before starting, let's do a small chit chat. So how are you uh, guys? How are you enjoying the WordCamp? Uh, I am also enjoying a lot. Uh, this is my first time um, outside my country. I, uh, in person, I, attend, uh, I, I am attending a Wat, uh, Wat camp, and uh, this is my first time at, uh, uh, in Thailand also. Thailand is a very beautiful country, and yesterday was my first, I, I, first time I, uh, attending the uh, Contributor Day, and today is my first time I am speaking as a speaker in the Wat camp. So, so many first time actually happening with me nowadays. Um, and actually someone tell me that uh, before starting a little bit chit chat with the audience will reduce my nervousness. So seems it's uh, actually not working. My heart is pumping so, so fast. Okay, so let's get started, okay? So the topic is how neuroscience can make you a better writer. It actually based on my own experience, the experience I have gathering like uh, last four and five years. And today I am going to share you with that uh, with you. <coughs> so um, generally before uh, starting any blog, uh, I used to uh, research on that topics. I used to find the related keywords and set my target audience, do the competitor analysis, prepared uh, outline and wrote a blog and uh, do other stuffs. So you see, a writer's job is very tough actually. <laughs> it has so many steps and people just uh, scroll it and switch the tab, okay. So with this process, actually, I have written so many blogs. But the problem happened when I get to my blog and uh, check the performance of those blogs. I found that some of my blogs were doing really very good. Uh, they were uh, getting traffic regularly. The CTR rate was very good. And uh, everything was fine. But some of my blogs were not performing as well as I expected. So then I asked myself, why? Why do some of my blogs capture user attention while others are flop? So after um, working with my blogs, I realized that I need to, uh, I have some factors that I need to work with. And uh, one of them was that I need to know more about my readers. I need to uh, understand more deeply their thinking process. It was my realization that I need to do this. And with this realization, I think I should work with neuroscience to dig deep into my reader's mind. So as uh, all you know, like uh, neuroscience is uh, something uh, that works with human brain and the nervous system. And when you put it together, neuroscience and writing, it becomes neurowriting. So what is neurowriting? Neurowriting is uh, something, a particular writing style or layout where you can use a particular phrase or words or scenario, anything that triggers your reader's emotion and make it more engaging, where you can connect to it your readers actually, their pain points, and you can uh, uh, keep, you, uh, keep you yourself in their shoes and you can understand what actually they want. And uh, in this way, you can make your blogs more engaging, more connecting with them. So new, uh, new writing actually help us to get into readers' head and motivate them to take some particular action. Write engaging content that appeals to human psychology and create scenarios so readers can relate their uh, real life with your blogs. So. <clears throat> for, uh, after that, I starting revising my blog, and uh, I getting some uh, amazing result. And uh, <clears throat> from that, my biggest concept was that like writing engaging blog and uh, ranking them on the uh, on Google, connecting with your uh, readers. These things are actually not random. You are the magician. You can do the magic. You have the power to uh, to make your blog that much engaging so your readers will react to it, uh, to it as per 
your uh, consideration or as per your plan. Everything uh, is in your hand. You can control everything, but you have to know the path, the right path to connect your readers with your thought. This, that is the magic, that, uh, uh, that is the point you need to work with. So uh, with these thoughts, with these uh, facts, I work with my blogs and I find some tips uh, that I have applied to my blogs. So very quickly today I will share five tips with you. Maybe it will help you also. So my first tip is tell your purpose immediately. Whenever you start writing any blog, Try to uh, uh, explain your purpose of the blog very quickly. If possible, write it on the first line or the uh, first paragraph as soon as you can. So your uh, audience can set an expectation for your blog very, uh, from the very beginning of the blog. So there would be no any heartbroken situation, OK? Your reader know what they would expect from your blog, what would they can learn from your blog, so make it so clear from the beginning. So uh, my uh, second tip is be a master on your topic. So whenever we go to the Google and searching for your my uh, for any any topic, we are actually searching for some uh, reliable person whom we can trust on. We want some experience, someone we need an authority body. So you have to be that authority body to write any topic. So. People can trust on you. And sometimes we thought that uh, maybe the authority tone means something boring, dry, and hard to understand. But no, authority tone means uh, you, uh, it shows your uh, confidence. It shows your understanding. It shows your knowledge on a topic. How deeply you know a topic, it will show. So you have to be that authority body to explain any topic. So my uh, uh, third tip is use the primacy and recency effect. So uh, if now I give you a list of 10 items, most prob and then I told you to recall it, tell you. So most probably you can recall the first three or four items, and then you can recall the uh, last three or four items very easily. But the middle things will be a little bit hazy for you. So this is the common uh, working process, actually, of my, uh, our brain. So uh, use this uh, technique to your blog as well. Make your uh, intro and the summary super engaging and uh, uh, try to give uh, the important information that you want your readers to, want, uh, to know. Give, the, uh, give this two parts. Give uh, all the information in these two parts. So, it will be uh, so engaging. And another thing is, we all love good news. We, as a human being, we uh, love good news. We like the positive vibes. So make these two parts uh, always positive. So your, uh, it will uh, leave a positive impact on your reader's mind. And don't forget to uh, add a call to action at the end of your blog. So the fourth tip is, Tell a story that has suspense and simplicity. OK. So as a human being, we all are curious. We are curious by born. We, we love to be thrilled. So at the beginning of your blog, if you say that like uh, by reading this blog, you will be able to build a full functional mar uh, marketplace or if I say like that, uh, at the end of the blog, you have some secret tips on uh, blog SEO. So this type of things will make your audience or make your readers more uh, curious about your blog. But one thing, you make them curious in the introduction. But what, how, how you will uh, make, uh, how you will make them uh, stay with you for a long time. For that. Every part of your blog should be synced with each other. It should be rhythmic. It should be like a, they are a hearing a, a story. So then it will be more engaging, and you will get more readers for your blog. So uh, my last tip is for today, explain cause and effect. So. Um, as I have told you, that we are curious. Our brain always wants to know why and how. If I uh, tell something scientific also, still readers want to know why. Why this happened? Why did that not happen? Something like that. If I, now I uh, tell you that uh, owls don't have eyeballs, then you will 
ask me that why, why Sabia, why they don't have uh, eyeballs, and if they don't uh, have eyeballs, how they look around and something like that. So actually, I don't know that. But the point is, <laughs> the point is, your blog should be narrative. Your blog should be answer every question of your readers or the uh, question they might have in their mind. So make your uh, blogs as much as explainable to your readers. So if we uh, see that uh, TAQS very quickly, it will be like that. Organize your information, focusing your reader's mind. Tell readers your purpose immediately. Deliver messages with a positive tone. Avoid passive sentences. Don't make your blog uh, so much uh, hard to read. Always end on a good note. End your writing with a call to action. So my time is up. So if you have any question or if you want to know about more tips, you can uh, follow me uh, in at uh, Sabira underscore Islam at my tw uh, Twitter, or you can join me with my LinkedIn profile. Thank you. Have a nice day.